Hello, hello guys. Good evening and we are back for the uh, fourth day ng ating uh, Dream League Season 20 Group Stage number 1. This is the last day ng Group Stage 1 natin mga boss. And we'll be having uh, Talani Sports LGD para sa ating unang series. Tignan natin. If ever mag-continue pa rin ba yung magandang run for Talon Esports. But same goes with LGD. I think okay din naman yung nagiging performance nila. And let us check their standings. Malaki naman yung chance na itong two teams na ito na pumasok para sa ating uh, part 2 na group stages. Yep. They are top 1 and top 2. Same goes with Secret. Then to be followed by Evil Geniuses. So pare-pareho yung standing nila. Secret, Talon, and LGD. So malaking... Uh, Factor tong series na to For both Talon and LGD Kasi naman nalo dito Pasok na sa day 2 Mag-antay lang tayo mag-start yung mismong game. There we have it. Smoke play agad para sa magkabilang side. Thirty seconds and counting. Let's go from first. So we'll be having a pause for now. <laughs> Just be free and do whatever you want. Go ahead, run. The true heroes are the it's ones who wait all the, all the way. Secret na si Gabi, hindi naman. Well, yung Magnus talagang ano siya, one of the uh, broken hero. Para sa akin, eh, it's one of the broken hero right now sa patch natin, sa meta natin. Universal hero na sobrang nag-benefit dun sa harpoon. Sa kanya, pinaka maganda yung harpoon eh. Kasi talaga nagagamit mo eh. And sobrang versatile kasi kapag universal hero, dahil mo pwedeng gawing approach for the game, pwede kang hindi mag-harpoon, just being a utility option for the Magnus, available pa rin naman. Just like FBZ, ganun yung ginagawa niya sa kanyang Magnus. Depende sa situation. And nalakas din niya sa lane. At the same time, hirap niya pigilan. So, ang daming jungles sa pwede mga farm. So, maxing out the empower. Talagang magkakaroon at magkakaroon ng item yung Magnus. Si Abed ngayon, wala naman. Uh, hindi lang siya nakakuha ng uh, visa. Kaya nag-stand-in muna si Miracle. 
for Shopify Rebel. And shoutout nga pala sa'yo, Boss Jubes! Kaya na ba tayo lalaro, Boss? Yan, yan. Hindi na tayo nakapag, ano eh, support eh. Kaya pa naman yung magkasamang support lagi eh. So, 1-0 na pala agad yung score natin dito. LGD, sila yung nakakuha ng first blood. And that was nothing to say. Who secures the first blood. So, magiging okay naman yung lane niya dito. So, binili nga ba against Mikoto's Morphling? Tingin natin kung kakayanin ba niya to. Oo naman, boss. Solid talaga yan. Uh, one of the uh, respected mid lane player ni Sumail is si, si Miracle. So in terms of scaling, uh, medyo okay naman yung heroes ng Talon Esports. Same goes with LGD. Like, they have this Magnus Ember on their side with Phantom Lancer also. So, uh, medyo madik uh, dikit ang laban, labanan to. Not unless pero talaga mag-dominate sa early stage. Well, Bloodlight para kay Savage. Still gonna able to escape from the uh, Magnus. Shockwave, not gonna be enough to kill him. So, makakapag uh, lane pa ba si Savage dito? Hang on. He needs to be careful. He's running a bit low. Pero andan yung blood rate natin. And Savage will be getting those last hits at HP he needs para sa kanyang lane. Well, Tekis will be joining in. And that's gonna be a real problem if ever na makombo pa siya dito ng Tekis. Well, bottom lane, continuous pa rin naman sa pagbabata ng blood rate dito yung uh, uh, blood seeker. May medyo mababa naman sa mana ko yung blood rate, so it's okay. Pa-secure na lang yung last hit yan para magkaroon siya ng uh, heal. Now, there exits the shock waves, keyword. Still not enough to finish off the blood seeker. Blast off. Medyo malayo nga lang. So, mabuboy pa rin naman si Savage dito. And for the tech, he's looking for an angle to catch someone out. The Radiant Glyph is now Well, sitting chain, use that of his, there we have it. Kill secured na naman para kay natin kasi. For the Bloodseeker, blast off. Will do connects. Last word, Arcane Curse available naman sa Magnus. So, mukhang malabo naman nilang habulin pa si Savage dito. 
And actually Savage. Tamang farm pa rin naman. Getting last hits para lang mag-heal up. Savage here is dropping low. Maladic, enough Bantic damage. Wong D naman, mabuboy pa rin naman at si Savage since ando naman yung regeneration provided. And para kay Wayu, smile. Still alive for now. Q looking for an angle. And healing Lotus mo, huwa pa rin naman ni Savage dito. The six minutes in. And uh, one two parin naman yung score, one k advantage para sa side and talon esports. Surprising to see na sila yung advantage dito. Uh, on the lane stages, mas marami yung uh, last hits na nakuha ng talon esports. For the middle lane. Yeah, that is Morpling. 40 last hits, 14 denies. Para sa kanyang middle lane matchup. Dry. Dire structures are fortified. Well, middle lane, flame guard use. Diamond out on the man for the uh, Emperor Spirit. Chiro Dito, double ganker. Still will be fine. We don't have any other overcommitment. Some of the other sides. Back on farming, lang ulit. Yin lang naman. Eight minutes at I Dito, and let's check the network sitting on top. Is yung Morpling. Morpling Dito, 0 0. Wala siya nao huwang kills. Sa jang uh, free farm lang siya sa mi middle lane. Yin lang yin. Phantom Lancer will be taken out.
Blast off for the tech is because the Tito will be shifting into strength and will be able to bring down planet afterwards. 4 3 in score and still looking good for the side of Talon Esports. There goes the charge, Ember Spirit Tito, he'll go down. I accept this offering. Mas pala na pala nangyari sa idol natin na si Nisha. Uy nga eh, hindi ko rin alam eh. Oh, parang ang bagal nila maglaro ngayon eh, yung liquid. Gulat din ako eh, puro talo yung liquid. Then isang best ko lang naman sila na-cover. And yun nga, napansin ko parang ang bagal nila maglaro. Hindi na sila yung uh, Tulad ng dating liquid Na parang uh, gusto lagi ng mga action Kills, skewer, over to Q He goes down And uh, that's A good pick up for the side of LGD Pero 2k pa rin yung kalamangan dito ng Talon Esports So safe to say na May hira pa lang pa rin dito yung uh, LGD Continuous pa rin naman yung itemization For more pling, Palactory is available Ito yung uh, the usual na nagiging approach para sa more pling getting flactory para kahit pa paano diba kung middle lane morphling ka may napaprovide ka na damage hindi mo kailangan masyado ng uh, maraming items yung adaptive uh, strike mo medyo malaking bagay na agad nagpatalo muna gusto magpahinga no? pahinga muna prepare lang for the uh, next major well think uh, ang hirap na eh. kasi based dun sa DPC DPC natin sa western Europe nung tinignan ko yung standing sila pala yung pang fort so hindi ka pa silang hindi makapaso <laughs> Parang ganun. Shiro dito. Well, for the second time around, they have the stun and they have the damage. Shiro goes down. So that's another position one dead for the side of LGD. Dalawang beses na lang napatay yung Phantom Lancer dito. Compared to Talon Esports, yung mga core heroes nila, medyo okay yung nangyayari. Unlike for LGD, dalawang beses na namatay si Shiro. So that's not a good sign. If you're LGD.
Going 16 minutes na sa game natin and bits pa rin naman yung nangyayari overall. I'll take that. Sige lang boss, basta wag mo lang i-spam. Ah, uh, ayo pina pina uh, ko naman yung ganyan, yung mga agent, 'di ba, na naghanap ng players. Pero wag niyo lang i-spam, 'yun lang naman. Kasi doon ako mapapagalitan kapag yung comment, 'di ba, yung nag-spam out lang. 'Yun, doon ko binablock. Yung mga nag-spam. Isang beses pwede na 'yan, boss. Every stream, like comment ka. Goods na para sa akin. Wag niyo lang i-spam talaga. Yeah, no problem, uh, Boss Ronald. Hindi mo na ako maigpit sa ganyan. Huwag lang yung machines. <laughs> Yun lang talaga. Trickster's Rune of Illusion. Well, 6-5 yung score natin is 1k lead for Talon Esports. More on farming pa rin naman yung nangyayari dito. Waiting for their uh, proper timings, of course. Uh, we're talking about Morpling, Phantom Lancer. These are the heroes na usually kailangan ng 2 key items at least para lang maging effective. And Spirit Baker, ang yaman niya. Meron na siyang uh, Octarine Core with Face Boots. <laughs> Then, di naman, si Sherry, tamad nga minsan na mag-block yun. Pag wala sa mood yun si Sherry, wala lang yun. So, 18 minutes na sa game natin. 1K pa rin yung mga kalamangan. Nga pala, hindi pa nagkaka si Ate Sherry. No? Mukhang tulog pa rin si Sherry. Siya dapat niya mag-cover ng Team Secret up against Team Spirit. Maganda laban yun. Mas gusto ko siya i-cover uh, compared dito. Pero hindi ko pa kasi nakakakas yung talent ni Sports kahit isang beses. Ngayon ko pala sila makikita. And uh, nagulat ako. Maganda yung standing ng talent. Eh. And here they are proving na talagang uh, worthy opponent naman talaga sila for this tournament. So Roshan, attempt para sa Sinatara Nisports. Someone has got caught and that's gonna be Savage. They have the Diffusal Blade. Doesn't have his BKB yet. Can omit na RP doon but still alive for now. But a Seating Chain will be over there with the Maledict Death Ward coming in. Enough to finish him off. Finally, Savage goes down. So that was a good start. And they might be able to grab more. Globals, I mean Global Sensor. Silencer Dito will be the next one to fall. Puyat ata, boss. Eh. Anong all sila natulog yun eh. Minsan, ninaabot ka ng uh, almost lunch. Bago matulog yun. Sa pagising ko, gising pa yun eh. Tsaka pala mag-good night yun <laughs> So this time, LGD pa yung nakakuha ng Roshan. Since nahuli si Savage ng Magnus. Yeah, that was a good uh, way for LGD para lang ma-drag out pa yung game. Phantom Lancer. Yun na yung Agrim Scepter. So, ganun sila parang uh, nangangailangan ng damage dito. Talagang kailangan nilang sumama yung Phantom Lancer. Spirit Lance with Ag, sobrang ganda naman yan in terms of damage. Then, right now, is going for Manta Style, obviously. Dahil meron yung uh, Silencer. Na-expect ko nga, rush Manta Style siya dito, eh, di ba? After getting the Fusal Blade. Kasi meron Silencer, Global Silence. Sobrang counter niya dun. Pero, naspinero ito niya yung Agonim Scepter. He just needs to be careful right now. Yun lang yun.
Neo gonna pop the Crimson Guard. There goes the charge, RP, but the Global Silence will be there, interrupting the RP from the Magnus. Enough for Savage, they might be able to have enough space to get away from this fight. Running away, Ember will be looking at the chase, Not another Remnant use, hitting Chain, catches Savage, and now, with enough damage, Kaya ba nila pati? Sorry. Nabahing ako bigla. Savage still alive, okay. But final has been caught. By Magnus, Shockwave available, and down he goes. Shall I na gain cash with him for a second time? Just the eagle. Bigla mo na ba? Sorry guys. Okay, first time ko lang na experience. Para na kaya play by play ako na kagada ng team fight. Sbigla na ba? Dyer's top tower is under attack. Hey. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Use Scepter, Global Silence will be used. Ember Spirit is gonna be in trouble right here. They have the shackle shot, they have the control, the damage is enough. Nothing to say, will be taken out. It's a good pick up for the set of talent esports, but a 4k advantage for the man for LGD. Just what the dog is tower is under attack. And down goes Why You Smile in Abut Dito ni Mikoto. Two down already for the side of LGD. Outpost mga huwa naman nila dito. Stop tower is no more. 26 minutes, 3k advantage for the side of LGD.
Sobrang baba ng uh, kill score natin. 26 minutes na tayo and still wala pang first 10 kills. Tagal boss, baka di pa umabot no? Di pa umabot ng 20 kills At a smoke play sa magkabilang team Since uh, Roshan will be spawning in 40 seconds So hindi naman ganun katagalan yung added time para sa Roshan 40 seconds lang naman, 45 Pero wala pa rin magkakasalubungan dito sa magkabilang team Nasa magkabilang mundo sila So for Talon, this is a smart move, just waiting for the uh, next Roshan to the region side. Getting in position already. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Roshan is up. Talon Esports knows this. And they'll be heading towards Roshan immediately. They have one minute to kill Roshan. Can they do it? Anong items ng PL? Mayaman naman yung PL dito. I think uh, decent naman yung magiging damage niya over to Rosh. Pero kailan nila 5 heroes inside para lang uh, matapos agad to. Just 50 seconds left remaining. But look at the damage, diba? Parang enough naman eh. Kailangan lahat pumalo. RP will do found Savage. Global Silence kicks in. Protect the Savage right now. Rupture U is over to the Magnus. Bodrick for the follow up. EL will be tight in the fight. It pops the BGB for the Savage, but it's dropping low. The damage is too much for him to handle. He goes down the death part from the Witch Doctor. He can't actually sustain it. Charge out na lang para kay Jabs. This fight is not for theirs to take. So back on off na lang para sa Talon Esports. LGD dito, 6k na yung kalamangan ngayon. Still has Aegis, still has Cheese. So nabahagad ng position na ito para sa side ng LGD. Sobrang hirap patayin ni PL. Open last than the PL. So, wala silang ganong control sa Phantom Lancer. Yung Wind Ranger, support hero lang siya. So, hindi niya man yung kayang patayin yung PLs with one focus fire. Sobrang hirap niyan. Yung Morphling naman, uh, kulang pa yung item niya eh. Hindi pa ganong katasan yung magiging damage sa output ng Morphling dito. Yes, he has Ags para lang uh, makuha yung mga stats. And uh, there goes Q. That ward will be used. Nothing to say, hindi nga nang aabot yung Star of Fist since naka-invis pa rin naman doon yung Wind Ranger. And uh, backing up na lang muna para sa magkabilang G. Okay, actually, sa talang dispersed na pala. LGD would be trying to push this tier 2 middle lane tower. Will be able to claim it. And going for the high ground, they still have the Aegis charge for jabs. Well, well that's an detection for the Spirit Baker. Sakit! The Spirit lang, stick the move. Grabbing damage and illusions. Mikoto, morphing into PL. Meron naman siyang Ag, so meron din upgrade yung Spirit Dance niya.
Gale Force. And it continues pa rin naman dito yung Phantom Lancer, setting up his illusions. To deal with the tower. The God of Tubing is best. Para lang na... Uh, ma-defend tong tier 3 tower nila. Medyo matagal pa naman bago mag-spar ng Aegis para kay Shiro. Another double ganker use. And third tower will finally be destroyed. New getting in position, looking for opportunity to catch someone. Proximity mines will be placed. Just dealing with a set of flaxes on top lane. Walang magawa pa rin dito. Nintaro needs support. Savage is farming. Doon sa may jungle side. And same goes with Spirit Breaker, pushing out mid lane. Sa mukhang bibigyan na lang nila tong set of flax sa may top for free. But for LGD, continues pa rin naman sila dito. On to the next one, third tower sa main middle lane. Wala na silang fortification for the side of Talon Esports. They need to defend. Or else, makukuha na lahat ng LGD. And there goes the RP. He's starting to fight for them. Do found some more playing Mikoto. He goes down. Wala siyang shard. Para makag-attribute shift kahit naka-stand up siya. Ayun lang. Ah, tapos nilanggal na pala yun? Ah, wala na pala yun. Ande, yun pala. Ando pa rin pala. Well stunned. Pwede pa rin mag-ate with Chief. And another charge. Coming out for jobs. Gonna pop his BKB. Yolo team fight para sa side of Talon Esports. Age is still available for the BL. But for how many seconds only? 15 seconds left. BB out para sa silencer. Will be able to make it. Savage is dropping low. Up against the BL itself. Wind Ranger goes down, he'll bot back immediately, set the frags on bottom lane, kukunin pa rin naman dito ng LGT. They're trying to get the Megas. And there goes Dark and Curse. We'll be dealing with the Phantom Lancer. Phantom Lancer, he wants Mikoto instead. And now Link has been popped, double ganker out para kay, sa, para kay Yashiro. Skewer, back in, catches the Spirit Baker, Jabs goes down for 70 seconds. Yule Scepter for the tech, he's just buying some time for himself. And they managed to bring down Savage afterwards. Shackle Shot gonna do land, but there won't be any follow-up and GG will be called already. That's it. Game 1 belongs to LG. Wala tayong 15 kills, guys. Wala rin tayong first 20 kills. Well, this game, nagsimula lang naman to nung nag yung Talon East. But I think that was too early. And uh, anlayo din kasi ni Savage. Eh. Nahuli si Savage dun. Dun nagkaroon ng momentum yung LGD, yung first Roshan. Talon yung kumukuha ng Roshan, pero sobrang layo pa ni Savage. Siya yung nahuli ng Magnus, namatay si Savage. And uh, as a result, LGD pa yung nakakuha ng Roshan, yung first Roshan. So nakapag buy time pa yung LGD with Aegis advantage for the PL. And uh, after mawala nun, sobrang yaman na ng PL. Second Roshan, same ghost, nakuha pa rin dito ng LGD. And during that time, wala nang nagawa yung Talon Esports. Wala silang damage against PL. Wala silang ganong control up against PL. Hindi nila masyado na-address. They only have more pling yung Aghanim Scepter upgrade para lang uh, ma-answer out yung PL kahit pa paano. Pero hindi enough yun para sa game na to. Even yung Ember with uh, Magnus, Empower, sobrang nababuff up eh, yung damage for LGD. And that's it for the game 1. Magbabalik pa naman tayo for the game 2 after the short break yan, guys. Be right back tayo. Thanks so much for watching.